to those of you who are actually paying attention to what's actually going on in Maui with the uh, incorrectly reported body counts, uh, the water being shut off, the cops boxing people in, they're stealing their land. However, uh, actual footage right now, weather footage from the uh, tropical storm that moved through the area that hit them that day seems to be deleted from the weather archives. That doesn't sound suspicious. I don't know. You know, that and the fact that nobody's answering any questions. They just, you know, want to hurry up and develop the land as quickly as possible. But they don't seem very interested in returning it to the people who actually own it. Uh... Eric West of Hawaii Real Estate. He's a good man. I credit him for this video because he posted it. And he encourages us to go ahead and share it. So I'm going to do that. He can better explain it than I can. And he's got some footage for you to see. What you see here is the NOAA website. And uh, it has the GOES images from the GOES 18 West. We're going to go to Hawaii here. Click on that. And what you're going to see here are the different types of weather that the satellite takes photos of. Notice that the state of Hawaii is in all of these images. Even as we scroll down in the page, you can see that the state of Hawaii outline is in all of these images. So we're going to go to the loop here, and I'll show you the state of Hawaii is also in that frame. Keep in mind this is for the month of September. Now, after searching for archive images of DORA, 2023 Pacific storms. The fifth one down is Hurricane Dora. So I'm going to click on that. So as we look at the image over here, it's more up close to Dora and it excludes the outline of the state of Hawaii. So as we scroll down in this page, you can see there's four data entries for August 8th for Dora. So as we take a quick look of the loop of Dora, we can see that the outline of the state of Hawaii is not in any of this loop or the images. So I went out on the internet to look for Dora in an archive, hopefully with a loop. I ended up finding an archive of Dora on a Colorado weather website, and it uses the same imagery from the GOES-18 satellite. What you'll notice here on the left side are entries for Dora's imagery, and there's eight uh, entries per every 24 hours. So that's one image every three hours in a 24-hour period. However, when we scroll down to August 8th, the day of the Lahaina fire, there's only two entries. When scrolling to the bottom of the page, I created a loop to see what the timeline would display. From here, my attention was drawn to the bottom in the timeline where it says August and for each day and the UTC time or military time to see what the changes would be. Pay close attention as it travels through each day. Right when it gets to the 8th, you'll see a quick jump. And when I stop it, you'll see it go from 1800 UTC time to 2100 UTC time then it goes to the ninth at zero zero hundred hours. So there's 13 hours of time or images missing from this loop. What happened to these images? I don't know. I can only speculate. But I'm under the impression that somebody doesn't want us to see something here. Please feel free to share this video. The links to these websites will be provided below in the description box. They did the same thing with that Fukushima reactor in Japan after HARP was running two solid weeks up to the moment that plate shift triggered that tsunami. I had a nice little video on it on one of my previous YouTube channels before YouTube just deleted it without any community guideline strikes or anything. They just deleted the whole channel. Uh, there was a swell in the stratosphere, which is typical of what happens when harp is fired up and they're directing it at something. Yes, frequencies affect everything and there are frequencies that can induce an earthquake. I believe Fukushima, that could have been avoided. It was a test and it works, obviously. And they're using it to ramp up these tropical storms and they're blaming you and me. So anyway, without getting too far off on another tangent, I've got some videos going up on Rumble. Very soon, they're gonna be Rumble exclusive. I'm gonna go over how to pick property out of state. All right, and we're gonna go over examples of listings to avoid and which ones you might wanna take a look at. I'm not going to post anything of real value here on YouTube anymore. I just, you know, why, right? So until the next video, if there is one, maybe we'll see. We'll holler at you later.